So we're in Florida, and if you hadn't guessed, we're heading down the Atlantic side. In fact, we're going to spend about three weeks heading down to the Keys. Then we'll cross the Everglades, and then spend about four weeks going up the Gulf side. And we're excited to share that with you. Yes, and this week we hung out in Daytona Beach. Super cool place, and it, it's a great location because you've got St. Augustine right above it. It was only about 45, 45 minute drive from our campground to St. Augustine. Danny will link that video down here just in case you missed it somewhere. And there was just so much to see in and around. Let's go explore the Daytona Beach area. So when you're in Daytona Beach, you've got to get out to the International Speedway. There are daily tours. There's a 90 minute tour, 30 minute tour of the track, whichever is right for you. And don't forget to visit the Motorsports Hall of Fame. It's open daily also. He'll put the ticket prices in somewhere so that y'all can find it. We're, we're going to go try to find Richard Petty. Feel the speed from my head to my toe. Now I know how rich your Betty feels. So from what we've heard, this right here is the tallest lighthouse in Florida. And Daytona Beach is famous for allowing you to drive on the beach. So get out there and have a little fun. I don't think we would be brave enough to do that. Another must do, visit Daytona Beach Pier and Boardwalk.
So we're at Blue Springs State Park here in Florida. Blue Springs is a designated manatee refuge and we're really looking forward to seeing the manatees today. Yeah, and we almost missed them. They said about two weeks ago there was something like 600 of them here in this Springs Springs area. So we're super excited. Let's go see what we see. Yeah, they say once the river starts warming up, they leave the springs and go out into the river, so they go out to feed. There's no food for them here in this part, in the springs. And they go back out into the river where uh, at, to eat and come back in the springs, but as the river warms up, they leave the, the warmth of the springs because the spring stays a toasty 72 degrees year round. So we were told at the beginning of our little walk that at certain times of the year, like if we had been here two weeks earlier, there were about 600 manatees in the spring. Not the spring of the year, but the spring that flows from the water. Uh, we missed them by about two weeks. Today there's three or four in here, and so three that they know of, we're hoping to see them and catch them. So this is Thursday House. It's open to the public. Built in 1872. Oh, it's kind of museum built in 1850. And it is really more of a museum now than it is. It's not decorated, decorated or anything. With a few artifacts. Built in 1850 on 133 acres. Wow, that's a huge place. No, I guess they purchased the land in 1850. In 1872, the construction began for a new house. The kitchen. This is just a walkway to the kitchen. So, let's go upstairs. Oh, nope. We're not going to go upstairs. That's it. Let's look at that. So, one of the top things for us to do that we discovered around Daytona is the bike trail. We found the East Central Regional Rails to Trails paved bike trail 
It is 52 miles long if you go from one end to the other. Now we're gonna get about 25, but we did not make it with the 50. So, and we're okay with that for this time out. Maybe next time we come through here, we'll hit the 50. But it's a totally paved bike trail all the way out, beautiful scenery. And guess what? She's worn out, but Bella goes with us in her backpack, in her milk carton. She has a blast. We top, stop every so often and get her out. And milk she, crate. Milk crate, yeah, milk crate, not milk carton. She stop, we stop every so often, give her a drink of water, let her stretch her legs, and she's great. So put this on your must-see if you're a biker or even want to just a very nice walk the next time you're in Daytona Beach. No, to go ahead and get it done. Okay, so this park does have bathrooms for you to use before you go on the trails. Good? No, let's do it one more time. That's it. That's it. Do it one Here. more time. I don't know if the camera's working. So this park does have bathrooms for you to use before you go into the hiking. Wait, wait. <laughs> something on the... One more time. One more time. So as you can see, Daytona Beach is a great place to go. Yep, we encourage you to visit here. Put it on your bucket list. Yeah, the weather was fabulous. It was in the 80s, probably upper 80s while we were there. And yeah, they're getting snow in Tennessee today. And yeah. Poor, poor, poor us. Yeah. Poor them. Poor them. We were complaining about the heat and they're complaining about the snow. So could be worse. It's always perspective. Yeah. <laughs> so don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that notification bell because you're going to want to see what else we do as we go down the coast of Florida and then back up the Gulf side. You're going to want to see everything that goes on. Share it if you got a friend that's out traveling and give us, give us a thumbs up if you like our videos. Also, if there's something that we missed in Daytona that you saw while you were there, put it in the comments below so that we can make sure we catch it on our next round. Share it with anyone that you is even thinking about traveling. She mentioned someone traveling, but you've got friends that are thinking about starting the RV lifestyle. Share our channel with them so they can learn all about the how-tos and the whys. Yep. Until next time, God bless and many safe travels. And go RV America.